So rib king is just a uh, essentially a side pot. A um, little bit uh, very similar to what uh, they did down to Smoke and Broke with Nick Cooper with, uh, with Brisket King. That got a bit out of control, didn't it? Yeah, look, <laughs> <laughs> that was insane. Hey folks, Ben from Smoke and Hot Confessions here. Things are heating up on Sunday at the Barbecue and Beer Roadshow. With me right now, I've got Rusty from The Charcoal Project. Mate, I haven't seen you in about six months. How's it been? Yeah, mate, we've just been uh, chugging along doing our own thing. So, yeah, mate, everything's going quite well. We've uh, uh, had two comps since Christmas, so uh, this is number three. We'll see where we go from there, so, yeah. Well, I, I saw you at Kondari. What was number two? Uh, Bundaberg, so... Oh, of course. Yeah, so, so up there in, in country Queensland. So, yeah, mate, fantastic comp. Um, we sort of did all right in there too. We come away with uh, second in brisket and third in beef ribs. So I was watching the awards, man. I was like, "Go Rusty, go Rusty!" <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, man. Appreciate the support. Yeah. So now you're putting on the uh, the Rib King at this uh, festival. Tell us about what yeah, that is. Yeah. So so Rib King is just a uh, essentially a side pot. A um, little bit uh, very similar to what uh, they did down to Smoke and Broke with Nick Cooper with uh, with Brisket King. That got a bit out of control, didn't it? <laughs> yeah, look, <laughs> that was insane. Hey, we're not giving away any smokers. We thought we'd just do something a little bit more Queensland. So uh, we've gone, it's a six-pack buy-in. Um, so far, I think we've got about 19 teams signed up, so that's 19 six-packs. Winner takes wow, all. Wow, nice. Mate, that's a, yeah, that's a, that's a nice little uh, side, side gig and everyone can participate. So, yeah. So away we go. It's, it's good. Very nice. And how's your jambo? The jambo's uh, going incredibly well. So uh, for those who don't know, one of two in, in Australia. Um, yeah, look, basically just a big uh, straight flow offset, um, insulated firebox. Uh, yeah, basically just runs on the smell of an oily rag, if you like. So yeah, and just holds temp all day long. Now, I heard a rumour, and correct me if I'm wrong, but you had a little accident with your uh, suspension setup. Yeah, so uh, there's a reason why you don't normally put suspension on a smoker. <laughs> uh, and, and yeah, so we, um, we, we've got a little uh, Weber go anywhere on the front of it. Um, we generally put a, a heat sink under there with just a pan of water. Um, when we fired up to do dinner on day one on Friday night, um, we forgot to put that under. Uh, yeah, just got a little bit hot under, under there and uh, it's popped the fitting. So uh, it's on airbag suspension. Um, so, yeah, it's grounded at the moment. We've got to get another fitting. Otherwise, it's not going on the trailer this afternoon. I was going to ask, how are you going to get that fixed by this afternoon? Yeah, probably not going to be, but, um, yeah, a little bit of muscle, mate. There's plenty of big boys around here, so we'll be right. Oh, that's true. That's true. Yeah, yeah. So what do you got lined up for the rest of the year? Uh, so from here, we'll do uh, the next Brisbane comp, uh, Victoria Park, I think it is. Um, it's in about four weeks' time, yeah. Yeah, correct. And then uh, we'll do Kingaroy. Um uh, I've got uh, a little engagement I'm doing with uh, David from Barbecue's Glory Kalana Waters at the uh, Beer and Barbecue Festival that's happening on the Sunshine Coast at Kiwana Stadium. Oh, cool. Uh, up there on the Sunshine Coast. And uh, and then from there, uh, we'll see what happens. So, yeah, mate, not a real busy schedule, but um, just enough to keep us, you know, occupied and, and, yeah, away from home a little bit. Yeah. Not always a bad thing. So is that one that um, uh, with uh, Kiwana Waters Barbecues Galore there, is that in lieu of the Malula Barbecue Festival that wasn't on this year? No, it's just basically a craft beer fest with uh, with a barbecue element attached to the side of it. Um, and, yeah, and I'll just be jumping in his tent and just cooking a few things for, for the punters to, to have a try and, oh, and sell a bit of air. So, yeah. Okay, so it's not an actual competition? No. No, so yeah, it's right. just a uh, just a festival in a sense. So, so you're basically going to go along, spend the day in the sunshine on the Sunshine Coast, drink some craft beer, and cook a little bit of queue. Yeah, it sounds pretty tough, doesn't it? it? It it's it's a rough life, man. Yeah, yeah. Well, someone's got to do it. I'll take it. I'll take <laughs> it. I'm not giving it up. So beautiful, yeah. man. So is this your first KCBS comp? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So so it is um, a little bit more of an eye opener, to be honest with you. So going from those uh, one hour hand ins in between each uh, protein to 30 minutes so yeah it's uh, it's it seems quite daunting at this stage but um yeah we've got plenty of bodies around so we'll be right yeah fair enough fair enough all right well look man i'm, I'm gonna let you get back uh, all right well i'm gonna let you get back into it um i've taken up enough of your time already thanks very much Good and best of luck with the competition thanks mate appreciate it